And I'm going to show you all about my friend Renee's coolest idea. She makes a lot of fried desserts every Hanukkah because it's the tradition, you know, fried foods. So this one, oh my gosh, it's so clever. She takes totally complete pancake mix. Can't get it out of the cup. You need two cups of it. Good to go there. You add a cup and a half of water, just like it says on the box. And this becomes your batter for your fritters. How cool is that? I'm gonna thicken it up a bit. I think I gypped myself on that first cup. See, this is why I don't bake. I'm so lousy at measuring. <laughs> you just gotta give it a quick beat there so you don't get your lumps out. You know, I think a whisk will help me out a lot better with this. There we go. Oh, look at that, coming together beautifully. Now, the only addition I've made to this, because it is made with apples, and I love the flavor with apples, is a little bit of nutmeg. So I'm gonna get a little of that going in there. You know, Italians eat a lot of fried desserts around the holidays, too. We got the zeppoli, the fried dough, with the little, uh, you know, a confectioner sugar on top. Ooh, yummy. Okay, and I'm just gonna take this down to that vegetable oil. Now, the vegetable oil, I preheated about an inch of it, over medium to high heat. You wanna get it good and hot. And in this one, I'm not big on gadgets, but this is a necessary thing. You gotta be able to core the apple and here's why. Once you core it, you're gonna cut it into these pretty little rings. See there, isn't that cute? You don't wanna go too thick here, about a quarter of an inch thick. You can use Golden Delicious, Red Delicious. Leave the skin right on, cause that'll be pretty kind of peeking out at the edges there. I've got my confectioner sugar for when they come out. My pancake batter is perfect. This is how quick and easy this is. You coat him really well on both sides. You can use tongs if you don't wanna get goopy there and just set them right down in there. Awesome, how easy is that? Isn't that a, just a fantastic holiday miracle? <laughs> Renee is so cool, I really gotta thank her for this one. Let's get a layer in there. Obviously don't crowd the pan up with these. You want them to brown evenly all over and have room to groove in there. I'm just gonna get one more going because you want them to cook in batches of about the same time limit, and they cook really quick. I'm just gonna turn one over here and show you how pretty they get. Look at that, look at it, isn't it gorgeous? Just take complete pancake mix, if you can believe that. Add a little water, stir it up. I add a little bit of nutmeg, because I like nutmeg with apple. You could also do a little cinnamon. You just make apple rings, dip them in the pancake mix, and fry them in little vegetable oil. Is that amazing or what? The finishing touch after you give them a quick drain, <clears throat> it's just to hit them with some powdered sugar. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. How good does that look? It's snow and sugar.